Let me take care of this. Can you give me sexy face? What? Hmm, I think we can make this better. Let's bring this down. Hey. I think you would look sexier if you hiked up your skirt. Hi everyone, I'm Yulia Panchenko and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, we are doing another episode on Better Boudoir and we're doing it today with Miguel. Miguel was um, one of the participants at our, uh, in our workshop. The workshop took place in Raleigh Durham area and he is a local boudoir photographer here in Raleigh Durham. Uh, Miguel, tell us uh, how did you like the workshop? I had a excellent time. Um, I learned so much. I had a lot of new experiences, met a great group of people, um, and I think I made some good lifelong friends. That's awesome. Did you capture some good images for your portfolio? I better have. So many <laughs> images. That's awesome. Um, tell us about yourself. Why boudoir? How long have you been doing boudoir? I've been shooting for about five years, um, mostly portrait work uh, to start with, and then the last two years I started shooting boudoir, which I found myself more passionate with. And why do, you, why do you like it? I've always found myself a cheerleader for my friends. Um, I like to elevate people. I like to bring out the best and everyone around me. And that, that seems to be the main key in shooting boudoir. Yeah, I, I think boudoir is a great genre. Uh, I, it's very... Uh, uplifting experience for us photographers as well yes. because when we see someone is extremely happy with the final result and feels more beautiful, feels more empowered, feels more uh, confident, uh, it just makes us feel happier I guess. It just gives so much uh, positive great energy. Um, Tell us what your challenges are. You've been doing boudoir for two years and I, I look at your portfolio, your images look absolutely amazing. And um, do you have any challenges? What, 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 what I'm are sure your I biggest have tons challenge? of challenges, but you know, one, one main one would be me being a male boudoir photographer, um, making sure I have a clear line that I won't cross. Um, so I don't touch my models at all. I like to guide them through everything. I like to guide them through the posing. Um, sometimes I don't find the correct wording for things, mm -hmm. so I end up posing myself a lot, which, you know, just makes them laugh. But it turns out to be to work. I think that's the challenge of most of male Buddha photographers. Uh, let's do it this way. I'll be your model and you'll be my photographer and you'll direct me and we'll see how it goes and then we'll sit and analyze what you did wrong, what you did good and see if that's really your challenge or maybe not. That's, that's, that seems like a big challenge, <laughs> but I'm open to it. Okay, let's do it. Sweet. Um, so we are going to, you're going to decide um, where you want to pose me, okay. what you're going to do. I'll just going to follow your directions. Okay. Okay, well, Miguel thinks that one of his biggest challenges is uh, to direct models or clients. So I'm going to be his model and he's going to be my photographer and we'll see how everything goes. I'm actually excited uh, because I've seen Miguel, um, he was posing one of the models and I think he was doing good. So let's see how, how he's going to do it with me. You ready? I am ready. Okay. Almost ready. I'll try to I'll try to forget all my posing skills. By the way, we're using Reflex S by Stella Pro. Uh, we brought those lights with us for the workshop. Uh, what do you think, uh, Miguel? How did the lights work for you? They are amazing. I am sold. I'm <laughs> very interested in um, getting myself set up with them. Um, the amount of power that they provide with continuous light. It's, it's something I haven't experienced prior. So now we're going to use only continuous, uh, continuous mode of the slides, but it, this is a continuous strobe hybrid light. So when you press, 
when you press on shutter that turns into burst mode and gives double the power of the continuous light so but for now we don't really need trigger we don't need the um, the strobe we're just gonna use um, continuous lights yeah all right as long as you can see me <laughs> if i can all right so let's start with me showing you the pose to okay. make that a little easier so i will I like have that. you sit at the edge of this so mm -hmm. that you can extend yourself further back mm -hmm. as long as you're comfortable and don't drop your head back but mm -hmm. pull your chin forward okay we will have you keep your knees somewhat close together but kind of scissor your feet and i'll repose okay. from that point okay so Somehow diagonally or? A little more towards the edge. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then bring a slight arch. And let's work on some triangles. One, two. I hope my outfit is okay for this. I think it looks flattering. Um, Let's, how about um, bring your right wrist a little closer to your hip for me? And let's take a test shot. Shall I just look at the camera? <clears throat> yeah, let's have you relax your neck a little more. Yeah, that looks more natural. Uh, hand down or up? Um, down. Um, Although I can't see your left hand, so let's make it where it's visible. Perfect. Can we refocus? Are you comfortable? Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do a close up. All right. Let's transition to a different pose. You gonna show me? Um, let's see. This comfortable. How about bringing your right foot up? Okay. And. We will address the arms once that you're up here. That looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Already with I you. I can't see what I look like. So, so one leg was up. <clears throat> yeah, and if you want to adjust your skirt. Somewhere. Um, I think it was your right. Actually, I like it, but I'll take a shot like that the first. But one? yeah, it was your right foot up and your left leg kind of leaning out. Left leg out right here yes and then let's have you turn your face towards me a little bit and chin out, uh, chin upwards a little perfect finally i'll Excellent. have some good images <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, let's switch the switch up. Okay. Alright. Do you feel like balancing a little bit? Yeah, I can do that. Maybe we can do a pose like this where yeah. you're Yeah. <laughs> that looks without cute. covering your face. <laughs> oh you look so cute. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. Please don't fall. Like this? Absolutely. Okay. We can Let's count see. on three, okay? And... <laughs> I'm taking over, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. I do need to direct you more. One, two, and three. Let me... One, two, and three. All right, let's see. I can do... I want to correct this one. Mm -hmm. So let's show you. Mm -hmm. um, I like your your facial expression here more, mm -hmm. but over here I like your face position. Okay. 
Okay, so it's a little not bit like more chill. Down. So this leg or this leg? Uh, left leg back. I think that gives you more support. Yeah. Uh, your other left okay. leg. Okay. Yeah, I have problems with it, left and right. And then <laughs> the other left. Yep, lean back. One, perfect. Beautiful pose. Thank you. I think we got it. How about we do one more pose with another one of these? So let me set this up. And I'll show you what I have in mind. Mm -hmm. This will give you a really big arch, I think. Let's see. <laughs> Can I do it? Okay. Yes, something along the lines of this. Okay. Yeah, I'll try. And we'll work from there. Maybe I'll just bring it a little bit closer to, because I'm shorter. Oh, yes. And you want me to lay down completely? Yes, um, so you can be supported and then you can just kind of arch your back. Um, oh, I that's think a you challenge. Can... That's a challenge for me <laughs> to oh. arch my back. <laughs> so I think if you can shift your body full, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you feel safe? Yeah. All right. So uh, my arms. One, two. Am I arching? Actually, let's try putting your right hand back, or your right arm, and let's see. I don't want it to cover your face, but I think it'll kind of show your arch a little more. Oh. Okay. Let's shift that a little more. Can we yeah. shift your right hand uh, forward towards the tip of your hairline a mm -hmm. little more? There we go, thank you. And one, two, and three. And I'm missing a triangle, so I think I ruined it by bringing your hand back. So let's... No, let's actually bring your chin forward and bring your left hand back a little bit. Just your left, um, so that we have two triangles. Yes. Other left. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, Other left. Three. Don't forget. Oh, and if I can have your chin go up again. Yes, little neck arch. Awesome. I will hold this. All right. That was the last one. Did I do it right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let's Ooh. look at the images, see what yeah. we got. Okay, that was the first one. Yeah, test shot. I like that. Will I get them? Of course. <laughs> I have to sign a model release. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> I actually like them. I think you did really good. Um, I was really surprised when you said that directing and communicating with your client or model is your challenge. And even during the workshop, you were the one who actually did it the <laughs> best way, I would say, because he was always showing the post to model first and then he was communicating with uh, all the models and directing them, correcting the pose, and I think you did really great. And even okay. with me, yeah, I, I really don't have any um, comments. Then okay. I think you did really good, and uh, I could do any pose you showed, so you did great. The only thing I would suggest is put yourself out there, um, be more on social media, um, show who you are, your personality. You have great personality, <laughs> a beautiful smile, look at him, he's handsome. <laughs> it's, it's, so. it's different being in front of the camera. It is, yeah, yeah it is. That, that's what I noticed, that the only thing that, um, you were a little bit shy, but he was shy just because we are recording <laughs> and it's different, um, but uh, I, I, I've seen you working okay. with models today and I think you did great and yeah. Don't worry about really directing. What you, you what you're doing is showing the pose. I think that was great, and um, 
and then you're adjusting that a little bit. You can always uh, um, say and always say that to my clients. Uh, just try to feel the pose. I may pose you. I, I, my, I, my body type is different than yours. Mm -hmm. So don't just uh, mirror me. Mirror is good, but also adjust it to your comfort. So I always say adjust it to your comfort. Don't um, feel like if Yulia said hold it like that, that's the only way I should hold because we're all different types, different mm -hmm. shapes. And for me, it works for her, it doesn't. Um, and, but whatever the way you are showing the pose i think it's super cute and super like it's it's fun so it gives a really good energy from the beginning and the person knows that um, you know you, you know what you're doing and i would say for all male photographers i would suggest to try posing in front of the mirror maybe it will look slightly funny but it also gives, like, it, it's um, changed the whole environment in the studio during the shoot. So do that, practice with your own self and uh, show it to your models. Okay. I definitely have to book my own shoot with me as the client so that I can, you know, go through the full experience. That actually also understand. very helpful. Um, Miguel, he is with Lux Boudoir Photography. He's great, girls. If you're in uh, Raleigh, Durham area, or even if you're somewhere beyond North Carolina, he is great. Um, Thank you. By the way, uh, one more question. Yeah. What is your niche? Uh, what is your style? And what is your level of boudoir? By the way, if you want to see the structure of boudoir, that's what we did. Um, uh, you can watch the video over here and there is also a PDF file included but that's what we talked about during the workshop what do you think um, so definitely an all-inclusive niche um, I do shoot a little bit of everything mm -hmm. I do shoot men shoot women couples do you shoot couples couples definitely mm -hmm. um, I'm looking to shoot a little bit of everybody and your style, what is your style? How would you describe um, your style? I would say moody. Moody? Yep. Is it uh, colorful, black and white? Colorful, moody, moody. styles, mm -hmm. um, a little bit of beauty work. Okay, and level, would it be more uh, glamour, uh, sensual or erotic? More sensual. Sensual, so somewhere in the middle. Yes. Okay. Um, so now you know more about him. <laughs> you can check on his portfolio on Instagram and his website. It's all in the description. Thank you so much everyone for watching another episode of Better Boudoir and I'll see you next time. Believe in Boudoir. Thank you. Thank you.